Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. This time we've got five differences of driving your car in the UK compared to Australia. We're just enjoying being in Australia and telling you about the differences that we found. So first up is Rego, so we'd like to explain what Rego is. Yeah, so Rego in Australia is a bit like vehicle tax in the UK. So in the UK, you have to tax your vehicle to drive it on the road and you can either pay as a lump sum up front for like six months or 12 months or you can pay by direct debit and it always starts from the first of the month so it can never start part way. And yeah. how does that compare to Rego? Yeah, so over here you can start any time of the month I think you can do it six months, 12 months, but with the payment, you get CTP, which is compulsory third party. That's included. So basically, that can pretty much entitle anyone to drive your vehicle third party. So unlike the UK. I think it also covers, I don't think it necessarily covers if you crashed into someone's car and that would cover their no. costs. I think it's more about if you injured them and they had loss for the doctors or rehabilitation, that kind of thing. And that is not covered on UK road tax. You literally just pay that to put your car on the road and drive on the road that's full of potholes. So next up, we've got price of fuel. So over here in Australia, currently it's about 180 Five one eighty six for unleaded E ten. That's in the Redlands in Queensland. I'm sure that it differs all across Australia, <laughs> yeah. but that's where yeah. we are right now. Yes, yeah, so where we're to per litre. Whereas in the UK, I think when we were last there, so one one pound eighty litre. Is it double? So yeah, it's almost double. So you can see how much more expensive it is in the UK. Plus over here, they've got a lot more fuel. Hungry cars, I'd say, like the eights and stuff like that, which is nice. Because back in the UK, you can't really afford to run those because fuel is just ridiculously expensive. What about personal plates? We know that you can buy them online like you can in the UK, but here you have to go and swap them. And also you can have pretty much any colour, any design. I whereas... think the personal registrations are slightly different over here. So we've seen them with all sorts of things. you got iHeart... Mrs. W or something like that, or you can have cheese in it. That's a lot more different than the UK. They're quite funny on the UK. If you're a character space in, they'll send you a fine. That's just here in Queensland. We don't know about the other states. So if it's not the same in other states, drop us a comment below and, and let us know. But you're very strict in UK versus here in terms of personal plates. I think you pay, I think you buy the plate. I think that kind of stay, you pay that price and you own that plate forever i guess whereas uk you've got to pay a transfer fee every time you put it on a different vehicle again not sure if you got to do that over here in queensland but like you said let us know in the comments but it's a bit more flexible over here i think for personal plates transfer fee every time you want to transfer it to a different car in the uk is the equivalent of what 190 dollars yeah. plus you've got the initial purchase price of a plate so you could buy yourself a cheap plate but transfer it three times is it cost you more transfer fees than has the plate yeah, we've noticed that obviously you can have them all different colors even the writing and the background you can have designs on the number plates in the uk everyone has the same color plate the same color writing the same color font no designs is all the same it's all white on the front yellow on the back so uh, speed cameras or mobile speed enforcement vans over in Australia here in Queensland, <laughs> where we're to, they're quite well hidden. It's a little bit sneaky. I know they're keeping the road safe, but in the UK, the back of the vans have got all the reflective stripe in. And there has to be signage so many metres before the camera's going to get you. Yeah, whereas over here, they could, it looks like a normal like an SUV most of the time, or it might be a van, pulled up on the side of the road. can't really see anything. It's got no markings on the back until you drive past it. And you see 
the camera's sticking out of the back of you. Yeah, and also your fines here are crazy high, which is a good thing because obviously it discourages speeding. But yeah, it's obviously a big difference compared to the UK where the fines are they range obviously depending on how many times or how fast you've how fast you've sped, but I don't know, average fine would be what, hundred and twenty dollars? Yeah. Maybe hundred and sixty dollars. You also have the option of if it's like it's your first offence, you can go on like a speed awareness course. Basically, you've just got to sit at like a teams meeting. And they can tell you off how to be a better driver. You don't have to pay the fine, I don't think. But they no, if you pay a fine, but you don't get points on your license. So I think that might be the same here. I think on some occasions you can do a test. But again, we're new to this. So if you know, then let us know and drop a line in the comments. So our last difference is uh, toll roads. So in the UK, we've probably seen about an official one. So I've got the main what bridge is called now, but going over into Wales. You've got to stop. We don't have to do that now, do you? No, I think they've paid for the bridge, but <laughs> before they paid before they paid for the bridge, they would charge people that went over the bridge back and forth to recoup the cost of building the bridge. There's not really many toll roads in the UK that we've come across in the southwest of England. There's definitely a little toll road that leads to a city and like you said, the bridge into Wales, but yeah, in general, we don't really have toll roads. So Australia is, seems very much like America in the sense of toll roads. And what we have noticed is a lot of our Australian friends seem to not mind paying for tolls and getting places a lot quicker, whereas we Brits are quite tight and will avoid the toll road and take the longer longer distance, I guess, because your petrol's cheaper. And Hope you enjoyed this one. It's a little bit different we've not done like this by cars for a little while so if you've enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up if you're not already subscribed please subscribe you just need to click it's free and uh, it really helps us to grow the channel see you in the next one